Alrighty, so I just want to give you some uh, quick thoughts on the ratings for AEW Dynamite. And um, if you don't know the news, uh, AEW, uh, the overall viewership for Dynamite, 703,000. And when I got this notification, I was actually talking to a buddy of mine. And I was like, you know, one of the brothers Discovery has 700... Well, 703,000 reasons to wait on giving Tony Khan a new TV deal. And I, I want to compare and contrast, you know, last year's uh, rating on May 3rd. They did 776,000 viewers. 0.28 in the demo. Then a week later, they did 800,000. 77,000 viewers. And I'm like, you know what? There's no need for Warner Brothers Discovery to rush with the company's backsliding. And I went on a rant on AEW Dynamite. Um, like I said, I wasn't going on a screaming rant. And I gave you my reasons. Why? So check out that video. But the numbers don't lie. And when you look at the regression of the ratings, so I'm going to give you another example. 2021, during the pandemic, during the first two weeks of May, they had over a million viewers. And mind you, this was before CM Punk ever came to AEW. And then the following weekend, 936,000. What a difference a few years make. And if you're Warner Brothers Discovery, like I said, and you're negotiating a new TV deal, and I know a lot of the hell of a loop right now has to deal with the NBA rights. The fact that possibly Warner Brothers Discovery is going to lose the NBA to NBC. Because I have read in articles that NBC is going to offer about $2.5 billion. To get the NBA. Why are you going to pay for. 700,000 viewers a week. And think about it from now. What's going to happen in three months. When it goes up to 600,000. It's not like. You know what. You're buying on a dip. Because this is a progressive move downward. And I truly hope Tony Khan gets the message. And he addresses the main problem, which is the booking. Like I said, I did not have a problem with um, the Edge and Buddy Matthews match. Adam Copeland, Buddy Matthews. And then the main event, the women's match. Yes, it's going to work for the diehard AEW fans. But it's not working for almost the 400,000 fans who have left since 2021. Because the wrestling industry needs Tony Khan. And they need AEW healthy. I have been saying this. You don't want to see a professional wrestling company go out of business. And I really wish the talking heads who tell him everything is great would stop being honest with him about what's happening with AEW right now. You know, forget about this hoopla. What he did last week, the whole freaking publicity stunt that he did at the draft, making an ass out of himself. I know he's not going to listen to this freaking YouTube viewer. Uh, and I sure as hell know he's not going to listen to JD. Because JD, man, is very critical of Tony Khan right now. Hell, this guy was very critical of the WWE. So, do the right thing. 
do the right thing. Because let me tell you this right now, I, and, and I don't want to hear any excuses. I don't want to hear the excuse say, no, it's the NBA playoffs and shit like that. It's the Stanley Cup playoffs. No, you're losing viewers. You need better storytelling. Look at WWE. I understand WWE was in a low. For a couple of years. And they're getting better. Why? Because Triple H knows how creative he can be. That's Triple H. That's Paul Levesque. He did great things with NXT. But. AEW. You need to fix your shit. You need to fix your shit. Or you're not. And I repeat, you are not going to have a home with Warner Brothers Discovery. All I got to say about that. Peace.